dead silence. I think it looks cool. Looks really good. If I'm down, guys. Welcome back. So, we have a little change of plans. Uh, part of the process of redoing the game room is that we would like to put at least three systems in the room. So, I need the space. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this machine apart. We're going to take all of that out. We're going to put the case back in the box and we're going to go to the new Dead Silent DS230 and this is the window edition. This is a lot smaller and a little bit more compact of a computer so I will not need such a big space. This desk is going to be taken out. Um, we're going to remove that and then we're going to have two nice black tables in here that are going to be really professionally done and everything and that's where our computers are going to sit but for the time being what we need to do is we need to shut this system down take everything out take this case out and start doing the bypass transfer hot swap ordeal so go ahead and smash me a like guys and here we go let's get into it Okay, and then we will give it a pull. There we go. Oh yeah, very nice. I'm liking this thing. Cool. Now the cool part about it is, is that it has a bunch of built-in LEDs. Like here's an LED, here's an LED underneath here. It has LEDs. And actually the one that I originally got was supposed to have um, noise panels in it like this right here it's heavy heavy magnetism but that right there is a sound absorption panel that's a pretty heavy duty panel um, although we will not be running that because we need access to the top here uh, let's see if I can um, top IO looks good front looks good I guess we should go ahead and take off the panel see what that looks like inside this thing comes with a whole bunch of built-in built-in um, what do you call it fan controllers there's you can kind of see one of them sitting right there so this is one of the built-in fan controllers it actually has two of them built in um, and from what I understand, just like some regular stuff, that probably what powers the fan. But from what I understand, um, it runs off of the speed the LED lights do. So like, let's say if it's a blue light that eliminates, that means that your fans are at like 40% speed. If the color is red, like your LEDs are red, then that means that your fan speed is at 100%. Um, and it has a full spectrum going from you know zero to ten percent all the way up to ninety to a hundred percent It does have a power supply coffin in it. I wonder if I should uh, Carbon fiber that too. That would look pretty cool as well Plenty of room to put everything in a nice big open CPU slot so that way you'll have plenty of room to get things in and out Looks like you got one two three four five six seven eight slots in the back Plenty of ventilation. You can either put a 120 or a 140 millimeter fan right there. Same with the top. It will hold 140 millimeters at the top. Um, let's see what the back looks like. Let's take the back panel off here. Two easy screws. One and two. Makes life easy. Pop it off. Now also, as you can see, this back panel, it also has the sound absorption built into it see that that's what that is that's that sound absorption and i tell you what it really makes the panels just super super heavy i mean you can just tell that that panel weighs a lot just by i mean it's it's pretty solid but it has to be um to absorb the noise and stuff which is one of the things that i wanted um here there is the other fan controller right there built in and then there's a secondary has a screen looks like it has a filter for the power supply a couple bays for the drive um, I think this back compartment here I don't know if that's for an SSD or if that's maybe for where this other controller should go um, but 
a lot of lights. You can see that's just for this. Uh, all the lights that run and power all the LEDs that are put into the system. But this is the new case that we will be using. And I am excited about it. Here, check this out. Look at that. A magnetic filter. Isn't that cool? So it just sticks to the front like that and peels off. That's pretty cool. But motherboard is attached all right so I just kind of put hooked up uh, an SD drive to it just to see if I could get it to light up and it looks like it's working good I have a little noise coming from one of the fans I'll have to figure out where that's at but so far the case is looking good I was hoping that I hooked up the pin right let's see here what color is that Okay, so now it's flashing off, red, green, blue, orange. Here, look, oh, it's flashing. Oh, red, green, and then that look that runs underneath it. I like that. Check that out. Ooh, that's sick. Man, this thing looks great. All right, let's finish it up. I couldn't put these in quite even. They're supposed to sit over, but they run into the motherboard, and boy, those things are putting out some air. Whew. All right. So it is done, completed, and I like it. It looks great like this. What do you guys think? I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave me a like. I also added a temperature sensor gauge right there. Dead silence, I think it looks cool. Looks really good. If you stay to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Drop me a like. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think the thing looks awesome all the way around. Orange, that looks pretty cool. Purple, green. Yeah. Flashing. Now what's on red? Green. Very cool. Leave me a like. Y'all be cool. Thank you.